Artificial intelligence, or AI, is changing our world faster than anyone could have imagined. It's powering everything from self-driving cars to breakthroughs in medicine, and it's all happening right now. But what few people realize is that this rapid growth comes with a hidden cost, a massive strain to the power grid, the system that brings electricity to our homes and businesses. And in Kansas, that strain is becoming more intense than ever before. Across the state, some of the biggest names in tech are making moves. Google has committed to a data center in Kansas City's Northland area, designed to power its AI-driven services. Meta, meanwhile, is constructing a hyperscale data center that will process billions of data points daily to support its global operations. And that's just the beginning. Each of these facilities will demand enormous amounts of energy, far more than the traditional industries. By 2030, data centers alone are projected to consume nearly 9% of all U.S. electricity, and Kansas is quickly becoming ground zero for this growth. Ensuring the grid can keep up with these demands isn't just a technical challenge, it's a financial one, and the costs are adding up fast. The strain Kansas is facing is part of a larger nationwide issue. Across the U.S., our power grid is aging, and its ability to handle modern demands is faltering. Experts estimate that the U.S. needs to invest over $2 trillion in grid upgrades by 2035 just to keep pace with increasing energy demands. Without these upgrades, power outages and blackouts will become more frequent and severe, leaving both homes and businesses vulnerable. To support the AI boom, someone has to supply this massive amount of electricity to these facilities. And in Kansas, that responsibility falls on Evergy the state's largest electricity provider. Evergy's working to keep up with the demand, making large investments to expand the grid so that AI data centers can run 24 seven. But this expansion isn't free. Evergy has already announced plans to build two new 705 megawatt natural gas plants to help meet the rising demands. To put that into perspective, 705 megawatts is enough to power hundreds of thousands of homes. But with so much new demand from the data centers, Evergy's investments reflect the fact that Kansas's power grid needs a major upgrade to keep pace. What's happening in Kansas mirrors the challenges being faced across the nation as the grid's vulnerabilities are even more exposed. And while Evergy's efforts in Kansas are aimed at boosting capacity, the stakes are high. Without proper investment, blackouts and price hikes could become the norm. To understand what's happening, let's take a closer look at AI data centers. These aren't like the computers we have at home. They're full of powerful machines running nonstop to process huge amounts of information. In a way, they're like the heart of AI, constantly pumping out the computing power needed to make AI work from large language models to video processing. Because of this, AI data centers use an enormous amount of electricity. McKinsey and company estimate that the electricity needs of data centers could increase by 160% over the next few years. By 2030, data centers are projected to consume nearly 9% of all U.S. electricity, a dramatic rise from their current share. This is equivalent to adding the energy needs of approximately 34 million households. If this increases to 40% by 2035, as it's predicted, it would be equivalent to adding the energy consumption of around 151 million households. These figures highlight the massive impact of data centers on our power grid and the urgent need for energy solutions. So how is Kansas planning to keep up with this new demand? Well, Evergy has announced a $2 billion investment in the state's energy infrastructure. This includes building two new 750 megawatt natural gas plants. These plants alone will provide an, a significant boost in power, enough to light up hundreds of thousands of homes and help supply the nonstop power that AI data centers need. This investment isn't random. Kansas City and its surrounding areas are quickly becoming major hubs for data centers. In March 2024, Google announced a $1 billion data center in Kansas City's Northland area, designed specifically to support their AI and cloud services. This facility is expected to require 150 megawatts of power, enough to supply energy to tens of thousands of homes. Meta is building an $800 million hyperscale data center nearby, which will handle the enormous demands of AI systems and support Meta's operations globally. It's estimated power requirement around 250 megawatts, making it one of the largest single energy consumers in the entire region. 
And it doesn't stop there. The Golden Plains Technology Park, approved in 2021, will eventually span 5.5 million square feet and is projected to demand a staggering 500 megawatts of power. This development alone will place a load on the grid comparable to a medium-sized city. Then there's the Rocky Branch Creek Technology Park, developed by Diode Ventures, which will need an additional 270 megawatts to support its AI and cloud computing operations. Together, these projects alone account for a projected energy demand of 1,170 megawatts, or more than 7% of Evergy's total current generating capacity of just under 16,000 megawatts. This mirrors a growing problem across the US, where much of the power grid is outdated. Nearly 55% of US substations are more than 50 years old, and many are increasingly vulnerable to both cyber attacks and natural disasters. As population growth and AI-driven technology demands escalate, experts warn that the grid will need more than $2 trillion in upgrades by 2035, just to avoid widespread blackouts and system failures. Meeting the increased demand requires more than just power plants. It's gonna involve constructing new transmission lines, substations, and performing major upgrades to existing infrastructure. However, the cost of these developments aren't just gonna be done by the tech giants. Evergy has proposed a 14% increase in electricity rates, meaning that everyday Kansans will likely foot the bill for these billion dollar projects, even if they don't directly benefit from them. To keep up with demands of AI, Evergy is investing in Kansas's energy infrastructure on an unprecedented scale. This isn't just a simple upgrade. It's a massive project that will reshape Kansas's power grid and this just isn't happening in Kansas. Across the nation, the US grid is undergoing or struggling to undergo a massive transformation. Due to rising demands from data centers and the projected 20 million electrical vehicles hitting the road by 2030, our energy needs are at an all-time high. Many of these demands are expected to push the grid to its limit, especially given that one in four transmitters across the US is at risk of overload. They were designed for much lighter loads than what they now face. This kind of strain isn't unique to AI centers alone. Microchip plants projected to add thousands of megawatts of demand nationwide operate at energy consumption levels similar to entire cities, contributing to energy spikes at unconventional hours. California's Silicon Valley, for instance, has seen a 50% increase in electricity demand over the last five years, leading to more frequent rolling blackouts as utilities struggle to keep up. Adding to this pressure in Kansas is the Panasonic Battery Plant, a state-of-the-art facility in DeSoto, which will support the production of electric vehicle batteries. EV manufacturing facilities like this consume vast amount of electricity, and Panasonic's plant is expected to require an additional 200 megawatts of power. This project not only underscores the growing demand on Evergy's grid, but also highlights the dual challenge of strengthening both cutting edge technologies like AI and the nation's transition to cleaner transportation through EVs. This kind of investment isn't just about keeping the lights on. It's about making Kansas a top choice for tech companies. Governor Laura Kelly highlighted Evergy's $2 billion investment as a way to bring in major players like Google and Meta and Panasonic into the area turning Kansas City into a high-tech hub. For Kansas, this could mean new jobs, economic growth, and increased recognition. But projects this big come with a hefty price tag, and that cost doesn't just disappear. Without significant federal or private subsidies, much of the financial burden is being passed directly to everyday Americans. Higher electricity bills are becoming the norm as utilities pass on expenses related to grid updates, upgrades, and increased power demands. In fact, some experts predict that maintaining reliable energy for the US will require yearly hikes in electricity rates as utilities struggle to fund a projected $700 billion investment shortfall by 2030. But here's something Evergy hasn't been exactly upfront about. Who's actually paying for all this? You might think that the companies bringing the AI and EV manufacturing would cover the cost. But here's the reality. Much of this cost is falling on Kansas residents. Evergy's recent rate hike proposals mean that everyday Kansans may end up covering the expense of these upgrades, even if they're not directly benefiting from them. For many Kansas families, this isn't just a small fee increase. It's a significant jump in their cost of living, adding extra strain on their monthly budgets. That's right. It's everyday Kansans who are paying for this technology boom. Through a series of rate increases, Evergy is passing the burden of these billion dollar projects onto the people who rely on their power month in and month out. 
As a Kansas homeowner, working hard to make ends meet every month, a large share of your paycheck goes towards your electricity bill and it's ever increasing. But those extra dollars, they're not really making your local power grid more reliable or more secure. That money, a lot of that money, your money, is going towards supporting infrastructure that benefits massive tech companies, not you. Does this seem fair? We're supposed to live in a country that values freedom and independence. But when it comes to something as basic as electricity, Kansans are trapped, forced to pay whatever Evergy decides. But there is good news. You don't have to accept it. More and more homeowners are taking their power back, finding ways to break free from a system that doesn't serve them. Solar energy is no longer just a luxury. It's a practical cost-saving solution that puts power, literally power, into your hands. By installing solar panels, families can gain independence from monopolies, lock in their electric costs, and even produce surplus energy all to sell back to the grid. Solar power doesn't just protect your household budget from rising utility rates. It also provides resilience. When the grid fails during extreme weather or peak demand, your solar system paired with a battery backup can keep your lights on and your family safe. And thanks to federal tax incentives and tax credits, the initial cost of going solar is more affordable than ever, often cutting the upfront expense by 30% or more. As AI drives up energy demands and corporations push their agenda, maybe it's time for Kansans to take a stand. Maybe it's time to put energy and the future back into the hands of the people who need it the most. Because in the end, the choice is yours. Stay dependent on a system that serves big corporations or find a way to take back what's rightfully yours. Imagine a future where your home produces its own power, immune to the rate hikes and the blackout risks imposed by a monopolized grid. A future where every dollar you invest in energy goes towards your family's security, not toward corporate expansions. That's the promise of solar energy. A system that works for you, not against you. But here's the catch. Waiting could cost you. Utilities like Evergy are already reviewing their net metering policies, which currently allow solar homeowners to earn credits for the excess energy that they produce. If these policies change, the financial benefits of solar could shrink significantly. And with electricity rates rising year after year, month after month, every month you delay is another month of paying more than you need to. The time to explore your solar options is now. Current federal and state incentives can cover 30 to 50% of the cost of going solar, maximizing your savings, and most programs require nothing out of pocket, allowing you to start saving money from day one Imagine locking in a lower electricity rate that won't increase over time. Getting started is easier than ever. Visit solarguides.com today or click the link right in the description to get your free, no obligation solar savings report. In just a few minutes, you'll discover how much you could save by going solar, how quickly your system could pay for itself, and what incentives are available in your area. Whether you're ready to switch or just exploring your options, Solar Guides provides the tools and insights to help you make an informed decision with confidence. You're not alone in this journey. Across the U.S., more than 5 million families have joined the movement towards energy independence, investing in their homes and securing their futures. The transition is happening and it's happening faster than ever. And with solar, you can be a part of the movement that reshapes the future of energy in America. The best time to act was yesterday. The second best time is now. Don't wait for the next rate hike or for incentives to disappear. Take control of your energy future today. Visit solarguides.com to explore your options Take advantage of no money down programs and start saving now.